The fucking truth. What's right is right. Panic spread across the country this morning. As the government announced that due to spiraling numbers, DJs will now officially be classed as vermin. Towns and cities have been overrun by a plague of DJs. But they now can legally be shot, snared, or hunted to death. Oh, please, what are you doing? Please! Ah. Well, even around here, all the plumbers, postmen, milkmen, they're all DJs. You just can't trust no one. As we filmed here in Whitechapel, the first signs of the crippling state-backed anti-DJ virus megamyxomatosis are in evidence. The man-made disease attacks the central nervous system through the ears via infected headphones. It has already started to claim its first victims in the cull. Like rats, the common house DJ's immune system is quick to adapt, but not quick enough to avoid the snap of the brutal house trap. Traps like this one are baited with a rare house white label. But despite the obvious dangers, some DJs simply couldn't resist the chance to spin this fat beat. Even so-called superstar DJs are not exempt. Pete Tong tried to find refuge in this ditch, but the mob were too quick. Guys, no, please. Please, I'll get you tickets to the Radio One Road show. I mean, it's free, but I'll get you down the front. Unlike one of his shows, Tong's death was mercifully quick. But with hundreds of thousands of DJs still at large, the cull seems set to continue for some time yet.